Hey everybody, I wanted to spend just a couple minutes to talk about Warache running sandals. Um, a couple few years ago I started running in the Zero brand XERO, um, well they were called invisible shoes at the time, but I started running in their 4mm and 6mm Connect Warache running sandals and have had really good luck uh, with that. Uh, more, more recently I completed my first 100 miler on gravel towpath on the CNO Canal and um, I was going to try to do it in my sandals with the uh, six millimeter um, connect model and I made it about 26 miles in these and then switched over to actually a shoe that's a little bit lighter. There was so much gravel on the court of course I needed a little more uh, some padding underneath my feet so while these are probably lighter than that pair of sandals um, uh, I was able to do the other 74 miles pretty easily with these. While running in these is sort of like driving a car, a convertible with the top down, running in triple wide, super lightweight um, New Balance MT00s is more like driving a convertible with the top up. Very nice, but not as nice. Um, next year I'd like to try to run the 100 miler, uh, same course, um, all the way through in Warache sandals. I'm a pretty pr pretty big fan of uh, zero Warache sandals. Uh, these are, you know, the, the, the lowest cost, longest wear, um, most minimalist sandal on the market. Um, so I, I really believe there's a, a, a key spot in every runner, of every walker's toolbox for, um, for this particular type of Warache. By the way, you can click on my affiliate link in the description below this video to shop for the Zero brand sandals. So with this new goal of trying to run a hundred miler next year the whole way through in Warache sandals, I've started shopping for something a little uh, a little heavier, a little thicker, not necessarily heavier, heavier, but thicker to protect from the rocks. So the first model I'm trying is uh, the heavier version of the bedrock sandal. Uh, these just came in the mail yesterday in an envelope much like the zero shoes and i really like how they feel so far uh, they are thicker eight millimeter versus six millimeter um, yet they feel lighter um, so i don't know how long they're going to wear i, I might kind of use them mostly for races only to preserve the, the longevity um, but so far design wise I really, really like this uh, toe post that uh, sort of spreads the leverage out a little bit. It feels really nice on my toes. I like the new lacing system, or this lacing system, especially the flat part on the back of the heel. Uh, it allows me to wear these fairly loose, yet they still feel nice and snug on the heel. Um, being a, a softer outsole, um, you know, walking through, say, the mall on a hard surface, they, they are a little more quiet. So, so far, I think these are going to be a great experiment. June 7th will be my next uh, 50K race. And um, so I'm looking forward to trying the new Bedrock sandals out for a 50K trail run. Uh, that will be a great test. And I'll, I'll use this video as a, as a place to uh, update progress and make comments about um, about the Warache test. So still keeping my eyes open for uh, some old tires to slice up to make my own sandals. And also, I guess I need to contact uh, uh, El Monkey for I'm um, Born to Run and get a pair of Lunas to try out. Uh, there's a, um, several people have evidently run the Leadville 100 uh, in his heavier sandals. Uh, the Leadville mod model comes in a couple different weights. So need to shop those and hopefully we'll be testing those out as well. I think the secret to finishing 100 miles in a pair of sandals for me at my fitness level will be to wear the lighter weight ones, soft ones, maybe for the first 50 miles with a pair of toe socks and then perhaps switch out to something even um, thicker and more heavy, uh, possibly the Luna model. It's been interesting to see the um, Warachi running sandal business sort of evolve. Uh, I, I suspect the ultimate uh, ultra Warache has yet to be perfected.